Here we are with uh, Mr. Julian King, who is the Director General for Economic and Consular Foreign and Commonwealth Office from the United Kingdom. Thank you very much for being here. And he came here to talk to us about the business of foreign policy. Thank you very much for the invitation. It's been a really excellent exchange today. I hope that we've said some things of interest. There's a lot we can learn from what you're doing as well to support Spanish business. That's really, it has been very informative from, from your side. Thank you very much. Thank you. First of all, thank you very much for the opportunity to, to, to be here today to talk about this. Um, in many ways, commercial and economic diplomacy is not new. It's, it's support for business, support for uh, trade and investment that diplomatic services, governments have been doing for a very long time. But there's been a renewed effort by this government in Britain to focus attention on commercial and economic diplomacy. Uh, when they came in, this government set some very, very challenging targets. It set a target to double the value of British exports by 2020 to one trillion pounds sterling and to more or less double the value of foreign direct investment into Britain by 2020 to a value of 1.5 trillion sterling. These are really stretching targets. Uh, which we are all working to support. There's a role for foreign ministries. In between the role that development ministries play in supporting uh, growth in least developed countries and our trade and industry ministries support in uh, identifying and closing concrete deals, we believe there's a really, really important role for foreign ministries to uh, support uh, an open, uh, rules-based, trade uh, economy uh, that supports reform, including, of course, very relevant here, reform in the European Union to make sure that the single market is working efficiently and effectively for all members and that we have uh, an open, outward-facing international trade policy of the European Union. So we're very supportive of those objectives. We then challenge our heads of mission in our posts around the world to work with the whole of government effort in a country to achieve concrete objectives, concrete targets for boosting our exports into that country and our investment from that country. Uh, they're directly responsible, personally responsible to ministers for the results that they achieve. Uh, well, we measure ourselves. Uh, we measure ourselves in concrete terms. So uh, we ask uh, businesses how they value the work that government is doing to support them. Uh, and we have a concept called business wins. Uh, we, uh, where we're identifying an opportunity, opening a market, closing a deal, uh, we ask the business, the British business that we're working with, what value that has to them. Uh, and they certify the value of the work that we have done. Uh, last year, uh, various businesses certified the value to them of the work that our British missions were doing around the world at over 20 billion pounds sterling. So that is a concrete measure which is uh, objective because it's the businesses that are telling us what they get out of the work that we are doing. We also benchmark ourselves against competitors. So we ask a, a range of stakeholders, including businesses but not just businesses, across the United Kingdom and in other countries to uh, detail questions about how they think we are doing against our competitors. And we take their answers very seriously. Uh, unfortunately, we're not always top. And when we're not top, we learn the lessons that there are uh, for us to draw from their, from their feedback. Uh, one of the targets that we've set ourselves is to boost the number of small and medium-sized businesses that are exporting. Uh, this is a real challenge for us. In fact, we have a lot to learn from what you are doing here in Spain. Uh, you are increasing your exports and you are increasing the number of businesses that export. So actually one of the things I'm here to do today is learn from you.